the first three episodes were pretty fun. They were very good episodes and I enjoyed it a lot. And I thought that the extent of this anime in terms of what kind of plot or what kind of hype action we're going to get was limited to what we saw in, you know, the first three episodes. So I was like, you know what? All right, it's going to be somehow Konosuba-esque and we're just going to go around. And then episode four happens and I'm like, oh my God. The moment that we encountered the Demon Lord's daughter, that whole scene when he got donated and Sensei got up and the hype music starts playing and he's like rizzing her up. Oh my god, that shit was so peak. And then the revelation that this, in this world, the other worlders, people hate them because they're just all assholes abusing their power. The current demon lord has been dethroned, presumably killed, and another hero has taken over that throne. And we have these other shitty heroes coming around and trying to basically oppress the people of the Zizaka world. And now the plot is actually getting serious. And this is actually an interesting twist. I'm totally down for it. This anime has gotten my interest since the beginning. And it's now I feel like it's going to get even better. Let's begin today's reaction. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> Pet. Mind control? Hi, Ochita. Sus. The dudes with mind control powers in the Isekai shows are always so trash. Just like Trash Moki and Skimishim in the fantasy. The more pure they are? How pure is Sensei? Well, purity doesn't have to do with innocence. You can be pure evil as well, but alright. Apparently this is- Okay, apparently this is Kirito's voice actor. He's so funny to me. This is SAO, Sword Art Online. Our main man, the Black Swordsman, is now the fucking... He's not even black here. Like, what are they trying to do with this rapper character? Like, sometimes anime will try to, like, have these, like, token black representation, but have them just have, like, tan skin and have lighter lips, and it's like, okay, what is he supposed to be, Japan? Like, wh what, what is this guy? But, all right. <laughs> Loki, this just gotta be so racist, right? Loki, you're gonna have the one person who's rapping trying to be the token black person who's not even that black. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like this is kind of fucked up. Really? That's it? <laughs> no, Tama! <laughs> Hold up a second. So, like, she's the one that gave him the power. Yeah, it is Adachi's voice actor, aka uh, Snapper's voice actor from Viral Hit, aka the main character of Kiji Harem. But, like, she is the one that gave him the power. He got summoned here. And she selectively gave him, you know what? I'm gonna give you a power called pet and everyone you touch, they turn into a slave. And this is, understand, is it random? Is it completely fucking random? I thought the gift is something that like the church people kind of like give, but if it's something that you just acquire randomly as you get summoned, it's different. You told me Right, because last episode, they kind of skipped this shit and they just showed the whole village burned down and Sensei just basically going like this. <laughs> I have inspiration for my writing now that I see the downfall of this village. <laughs> It's crazy how his voice actor is just like perfect for these kind of roles, you know? And this is where we ended our last episode. Sensei, you're writing a book? He's so chill with this. Just still snacking on the fucking pill. He's just- I love how nonchalant nothing phases him, nothing bothers him. He's just like, <laughs> it's happening. The luck- 
The luck on his part is also fucking unreal. Tama just literally got defeated by the helmet coming off as he punched and cracked the armor open. And Sensei's like, uh, are you tired now? <laughs> right, we have her familiar as well. Put her in the barrel? Beware of Wildcat. Corrected! Tama already disposed of, bro. One of the two people that got control of that was such a big threat. Already done. Sensei is insane. How are we gonna take down Anet now? Oh, Iwa! The power corrupts. You know what? I would like an isekai where like power corrupt is an actual like a deep rooted theme of the story and like the people that started off good eventually all become evil and like twisted. Is there any isekai that kind of touched on topics like that other than like this one scene we're having right now? If you, if you talk about Failure Frame, all those kids that got the shitty powers, like the, the really good powers, they were already pretty much evil, right? They were already like the super elites that looked down upon people. I'm talking about, I don't know, there's like a weak-willed person, like a typical isekai protag, but then suddenly gets powers and then he gets corrupted. Some kind of like dark story. Hmm. <laughs> Sensei just got inspiration from that. Sensei literally was like, hold up. Hold up. This is good. Keep going. Keep going. Take the notes. Mm. This is a good story. Yeah. Yeah, in an honest fight. But this is not going to be an honest fight. Every time, somehow, Sensei kind of gets bailed out. He, ha he has a lot of luck component to it. Poison. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. He's, this is a drink from confidence. <laughs> she, she probably thinks he brought up the poison to like splash onto the monsters. He's taking a swig of this, like a little shot of confidence before going into battle. <laughs> oh, jeez, what the fuck? <laughs> that was... She's so serious about it too. To the back door, the fucking wording of this all, bro. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Still on her knees. He's here to be inspired more. Mm, an entire novel. Wow. ああ、そうじゃない。あ、欲に溺れて。おお、あるだストーリーエンセンセイ。クレイジーレス。そうそう。クレイジーオーラ。ドゥーデ。クレイジーオーラ。ドゥーデ。クレイジーフォーキングオ
the wolf will die from the fucking poison. Surprised that Sensei can just tank the injury here, though. No, 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 no. Poison! It's the soundtrack again. It's this fucking sound. Dude, I need the name of the soundtrack. It's not even gonna come out until the end of the season. This is the exact same one that started playing, bro. That, uh, was, was it against the Demon Lord Daughter as well? But this is an amazing one. But like, he has no gift. The poison is not a gift. It's just him being so intoxicated in poison, right? Six hundred damage. I wonder how we're gonna overcome this. Will Sensei Suicide Risk be able to wake Anit up from this pet spell? Who knows? I'm just nutting the entire time. This this soundtrack is playing. It's so good. It the sound. I need the soundtrack. Play. This anime isn't viral enough for all of those like anime channels that like remember when Bleach comes out with a new soundtrack. They'll have like an edit of it. Whenever like you know fucking My Academia or like Demon Slayer has like a new soundtrack that's not gonna be released officially, right? They have like an edit of it. I don't think Isekai Shikaku is enough to get the attention of those people. Fuck. <laughs> Do it! Oh, sensei! The suicide risk will reach her heart? She cried? The fuck? The unit that's within is being released from the cage? Right, this is the imagery of the pet thing. And Sensei's here to free you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say there? What do you, what do you say there? <laughs> what, 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 what did he say there? I'm not sure what he said here though. <laughs> oh. Damn, and it Giga Chad, man. Annette, bro, as cool as Sensei was, Annette being able to overcome the pets due to Sensei's reason, the words, she's clutch as well, too. Sensei. Now, how are we gonna beat the fake hero? Because the injury is pretty high up for thigh, but if you just like let the camera and go for a bit and look, I don't know, the hand placement is down there. You can... <laughs> this show does know how to do, like, uh, the fan service is funny. <laughs> it is really funny. What else you got, bro? Sensei, finish him. <laughs> Try to kill us? I thought he was gonna try to backstab us. He actually gave up. <laughs> sensei stops him. Why? Why, Sensei? He needs more inspiration. You're gonna pass out. Man, he is just actually holding on to the dagger, just hands all bloody, not phased at all. Not a single facial reaction, you know, to see that like he's injured. He's so cool.
さあ聞かせたまえ<笑>君自身のなあポチ君10分以内に戻ってこいって言ったよな<笑>昔から気が弱くていつだって強いやつのペット That is so ironic His skill is pet but he was the pet as Damn, but no matter what, even if you had to live a life like this, it doesn't really justify all the shitty things you're doing now. And then a truck hit him? Truck kun, where are you at? Drunk salary man. <laughs> I fucking kick this guy in the nuts while he's fucking drunk, but drunk as salary man bumping into me on the way for back home, bro. I might, bro. I might just fucking kick him behind. <laughs> Do it! Too weak and timid. Truckun! There it is! Boom! Suzukiyo, Zauber Berg, here you go. You are the one who is 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 Mm -hmm. Total obedience. It's the same wolves. I think he dyed his hair. They don't like him at all. Nah, no amount of sad flashback is gonna have me rooting for this guy or like think like what he did is completely valid. For sure this sucks, but yeah, sure, L racism, for sure, for sure. But like, this is not gonna make me fucking waver my heart into thinking like he, what he did was justified so far. And that's the thing, right? Because people already hate other worlders here. And it's an interesting loop of the cycle of revenge. Because, like, obviously, other world does here suck, but if you treat this new guy like that, then he's gonna be part of the system and begin to hate you and be more oppressive, and you're gonna hate other world more, then new other world show up, and you're gonna hate them, and it's just this loop. You can't break the cycle. <laughs> if this is Tower of God, Jia Wang Nan would be like, you know what? No! I will be the bigger man. I will climb to the top of the tower and change the entire rule so that other worlders will be good people. But he's not a good person, so he obviously fell into the shitty cycle. That's the thing. Why did Trukun intentionally pick this guy? Was it intentional? I don't even know if it's random or not. I'd have to go back to the earlier episodes and really re-listen to the dialogue. But if it's random, it makes sense. But like, if it's like they specifically look for guys like this to bring them over, like this is the worst fucking candidate ever. This is a huge liability. You're bringing a guy who's super depressed and bullied. Give him a power. But also he's going to get looked down upon. It's just the perfect formula of creating someone that's going to be evil. He's still ready. <laughs> he's still, uh -huh. Yeah, go on. More flashback. Nice. Good. How did that make you feel when they pushed to the ground? Oh, racism? Okay. Let me know how you really felt about them. Oh, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> I say it's like, give me more. <laughs> give me more. <laughs> That's raw, bro. He's riding with the hand that cut his hand. Suzuki. indeed. He's got more plot, more content. Damn! No longer heroic drops the fucking mic or should we drop the blood droplet from the pen there? Yusha Shikaku. <gasps> Instead of Isekai Shikaku. Isekai Shikaku. Is this his gift? This is his gift. This is actual gift. He said it? Isekai Shikaku? Book activates? No, this has to be his gift, right? <laughs> Arigato, Suzuki-kun. 
の行く作品が描けたよだが残念なことに悪とは呼べない、うん、あっ Bro just made him just confess the traumatic flashback and he just made content out of him and then he just said, Nah, I could be better. Deletes everything. Where's he going? What's happening? <laughs> Is he sending him back? <gasps> My man just got deported. He just got banished for the first time. I think. Ha, 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 have we ever seen an anime where the person from the isekai world gets to go back home? I don't remember any isekai that I've seen so far. It's always been a topic of discussion. Adi Furata. Oh, one day we're gonna know how to teleport back, right? Fucking. Like Newgate, same shit, log out. Like every fucking isekai. Sid Kagero? Yeah, true, 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 true. Eminence and Shadow, he did do that. He did do that. But like, this is one of the few moments where it's like, shit. His power is to send him back? I'm not completely sure. Because like, what did he do right there? And what does isekai shikaku actually mean? Hold up. The actual word of isekai shikaku. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. No longer allowed in another world. So he basically banished him, right? No longer allowed in another world. And that's Isekai Shikaku. That's his power. He basically just deported his ass. So we're going to go around basically hunting down shitty otherworlders and cleanse this world of all the cancer that is otherworlders. I don't know. It's pretty fucking OP. I see. Well, right here before, what was it? We had skill, you know, writing, storyteller. There wasn't a gift before, and we still have poison. He's still poison. Level 3, by the way. HP 1. That's crazy. One fucking HP, zero MP. How did he survive the fucking wolf hit? Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're not here to fight the demon lord. I mean, the demon lord pretty miss is the other worlder now. Bro got summoned to cleanse this world of other worlders? Dude, what a brilliant fucking plot premise for an isekai. <laughs> Pills? Pills. And you know what? You're bringing up a good point. The day that Sensei was summoned was the day that the Dark One, the Demon Lord, got defeated. So the, and then the system of this world realized, oh shit, Demon Lord's pretty much done and other worlders are taking over. They're evil. Uh oh, we need to get a new person that's gonna beat all the other worlders. That that could make sense. Okay, free cool control. There she is. Wild Neko. You are being corrected. Hey, new casket! Sensei's new whip, bro! Look at our new car! So... Meadow Salsa was very clutch. Yep. Wonder what I should name today's episode's title. This isekai main character hates immigrants? I think that'd be a pretty clickable title, right? Something that I realized recently with titles is like... There's not much, like, people that's, that knows this show already knows this show. So if you refer to, like, you know, these specific near characters by name, it's like, oh my god, I can't believe Tama did that. I can't believe Annette did that, right? The people that's already watching this show already knows what that is. But the whole point of a title and the thumbnail and the way that I'm trying to package my content is to reach a different audience that don't even know what this anime is about. They'll click on the title because it's so bizarre and they might even start watching it, right? So you need to have very, like, captivating, clickable titles that... Seemingly is very 
simple and kind of feeding into the lowest common denominator. Like, I can't believe this happened, right? But that is the whole idea. I don't know. Sensei supports deportation. Sensei wants to build a wall. I don't know. It's, it's, it's gonna be something about an immigrant, I feel like. That's the best part. I wonder if I know, you know, they shouldn't put some fucking wheels on the bottom of this thing. I hope they did because we have to drag this shit. Like, it would be so much more efficient if there was fucking wheels in the bottom of the casket. Now, Sensei, Probably more than one factor. I don't know. I wonder what Sensei sent him to. Because, like, yeah, we deported him from this world, but did he actually send him back to Japan? Imagine we just sent him somewhere entirely fucking different to fuck another Isekai show. I don't know. Like, there's no confirmation that he got sent back to Japan just yet, right? <laughs> Wow, Sensei, so profound. Sensei has some amazing lines, man. The end? Post credit scene? Family Mart? My man, working at a Konbeni store. He started somewhere, right? All right, he's moving forward in his own, in his own life. I'm going to assume it is him. Oh, the redemption arc. <laughs> Confront yourself. Don't lie. <laughs> it's a new start for him. Truckman, are you around? I don't know. Whenever like anime characters are near traffic, I'm always like paranoid. That's the book piece. That's the piece of the book that we fell off. You know, that's us. That's us. That's us. That's us. To be continued. And that's today's episode of Isekai Shikaku. We got the title drop. No longer are allowed to be in this world. Like, I was wondering what was the purpose of that name? But now they show us. Bro just deports isekai characters he was summoned here to cleanse the filth that is the other world is in this show this is pretty much like the second component of you know the the uh turning point from last episode where it's like oh serious plot other world is evil what's going on and then they're able to make it even more hype since his true gift is activated i'm not sure exactly what the requirements are for the you know the deportation spell to work but he has to get inspired at least, it seems like. Then he has to write some kind of- has like a Basically, we correct him, he's gonna have a flashback about all the shit that went wrong. Then Sensei's like, okay, give me more trauma. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I can- I can monetize this. And then somehow, he says he's a guy Shikaku and the book pages are around. He ripped some shit and then he got ejected. Pretty solid fucking episode though. Yua was very clutch. Annette also extremely clutch. Annette- Decided to stab herself rather than Sensei because the suicide ribs was so good. Tama got corrected immediately. Mellows, Clutch, and Sensei, man, with one HP. How does he keep doing this? This dude is an enigma. I love Sensei. The soundtrack that plays when he was confronting, bro. Oh, someone needs to get a soundtrack edit of that, but that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.